Balayage is one of the biggest color trends that has come out in the past decade and it is not going anywhere. So what I wanted to show you guys today was exactly how I set up my color tray for balayage and the exact tools that I use to help you guys be more efficient and clean and simple in the salon so you can get those balayage clients in and out quickly but also keep a beautiful clean tray and keep your hair clean and beautiful too while doing those brush strokes. So keep watching, I'm gonna show you guys all that next. Okay, so first I'm gonna begin by just setting up my tray in front of you guys, and I'm gonna explain each of these tools after this a little bit later in this video, but I just wanted to show you like how much tools you actually need to go and do balayage, and I know you guys all understand what I'm talking about, and it just becomes a mess. So this is how I organize it on my actual tray, and I always mix in a different location. So step two is gonna be mixing. What I do is two scoops of lightener with one ounce of developer. And I think that's pretty much the standard for most people who do balayage. And I have been using Schwarzkopf's um, Blonde Me Lightener and their developer. It does take a little bit longer to thicken up, so don't be worried if it doesn't feel super thick at first. Give it like 20 seconds and it's really, really gonna thicken up. And I always add Oloplex at the end after you're done mixing, and I do 3.75 milliliters of that. So next, I'm going to put an extra towel in my spock, and that way when I have to clean my brush off, it's right there when I need it. And application is number four. What I learned at a salon I worked off of in Sunset Boulevard is he would swipe the side with lightener, and that's how he would get those super thin um, lightener lines on his brush, and I thought that was amazing. Next, we're gonna jump into all the tools that I use and why I use each of these. First off, we're gonna start with our balayage boards, and I got these from Fermar. They are amazing. I mostly use the black one for pretty much every process I do, but the pink one is great for those really fine pieces in front of the face that you need to touch up on your clients. Next, I'm gonna get into brushes. These are the Guy Tang Pravana Fermar Trio Pack, which I am absolutely obsessed with. They are super, super soft, but also strong enough to give you those really straight lines. And I love the tiny one that is available for face frame pieces. It perfectly lines the front of your client's face where you wanna add those pops of highlights right at the root, but you're always afraid that you're gonna get um, some type of like root bleed. So these are perfect for that. Next, we're gonna talk about the clips that I use, which are YS Park. These are such awesome clips. I love them because they don't leave creases and they are super, super strong. So when it comes to balayage, you really need both of these things to work. And they're really affordable too, so definitely check these out. Next up, I just have a generic foiling comb. I got this from Cosmoprof, super affordable, but what I always have to have is a long foiling comb tail. Otherwise, I feel like I just cannot get my lines um, right, so that's the only thing I recommend for this type of foiling comb. Otherwise, brand doesn't really matter. Next up, we have cotton, and my clients always ask me why I use cotton in their hair. What I like to use it for is mostly to separate sections, but also if you have someone who doesn't need to be wrapped in plastic or used with foil because their hair is already light enough and you don't want them to lighten too much, cotton is a great way to just separate those pieces and just let them process naturally in the air so that you don't get too much lift. Next up, I always keep foil on my balayage tray just because whenever I'm doing balayage, I might come across a section where I need to foil them so that the hair lifts faster or I put them on the ends so that the ends are the most lightest out of the entire color. So I always keep them on my tray just in case anything like that happens. And lastly, I have saran wrap here. So every time I do balayage at the end, I wrap their entire head in saran wrap. And I do that because when lightener is processing in open air, it tends to dry out and that means that your lightener isn't gonna lift anymore. So this is a really quick solution to make sure that your lightener doesn't stop lifting and it keeps it really, really moist and it'll get you the most lift out of your balayage. I really hope my explanations and techniques help you guys in the salon or at home and educate your clients to understand balayage more and get really excited about it so you guys can make some more money. So don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I will be making more of these videos and leave me comments of what you wanna see, like some type of salon business video or consultation videos or anything like that I'm really interested in doing. 
and I just want to hear your feedback and what you want to see. So please leave me comments below and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!